What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A9 Skills. We made a few changes to the RTG on the World Cup Edition, baby. Welcome back to the series. We got Big Boy Deco. If you missed the last episode, you want to go check it out in the playlist down below because we got the Big Boy Deco. It's like we're putting a Portuguese team together, man. We packed Ricosta as our first ever icon. We packed Deco out of the new SPC that's out for icons. This one just came out. We just got Deco. And also, if you missed it a few episodes ago, we packed Cristiano Big Boy Ronaldo. In this episode today, we're going to be doing some pretty awesome upgrades with the icons i mean really really awesome we're gonna pack an amazing icon also as you guys can see with the first picture i showed the team mendy was at left back the second picture hector was at left back i want you guys to know all the gameplay you're gonna watch hector is the left back mendy um, I had that picture because Mendy is now in the team. That's what the team looks like now. Uh, but Hector was actually in the starting 11 for this World Cup run. You're probably like, Skills, why are you jumping into the World Cup? And this is already the second game of the group stage. If you missed the last episode, you'll know that I played a live com with you guys. Game one of this World Cup in the group stage where we won big time. And it was Deco's debut day. I think we scored three goals and the guy quickly rage quit. So we're jumping directly into game number two of the World Cup group stage. With that being said, could we reach 10,000 likes on this bad boy right here? And in the comments down below, what icon did you get from the I the new icon SBC? Now, you might be somebody who is just letting it fly, right? Opening up a bunch of these new because they're 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 you know they're they're redoable. You can constantly do these icons. So right now you could be running a full icon team on the on the world cup mode now i want to speak on that because in the comments and i've been getting a lot of tweets saying hey skills they really messed the world cup mode up with all the icons here's two things i want to say i've been saying that icons has ruined ultimate team for a long time not 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 to the fact that i hate icons i hate the fact that there's so many icons i hate the fact that they're so achievable um like for example I, I the weekend league this year got a little bit boring because everyone ran mateus and hullet and Every single game you played, you played 40 games on the weekend. You played at least 90% of the teams you played had more than two icons in it. They had Hullet, they had Vieira. And it's crazy, right? Because in this World Cup mode, the one thing I think they should have done was kept icons out of it. Do I think the icons ruined it? Do I think this new SBC ruined it? No, I'll explain why. But I think icons should have been kept out completely or icons should have been limited to maybe one or two per team. Like you can have as many on your squad as you want, as on, on, in your account as you want, but you can only play two during each game of the World Cup run. Like limit them. Because the one thing that I hated about the weekend league, and I am, I'll raise my hand because I did it, I never played any other CDM except for Vieira. And I think it kind of takes away from the game, right? Because Conte, Paul Pogba, Kadira, Paul Pogba not so much, but Kadira, all these guys are great CDMs that I never really used in the weekend league because we had Vieira. For example, my favorite card right now in the World Cup mode is Ricosta and Matic. I absolutely love Matic in my midfield right now. He is my favorite CDM in the World Cup mode. I love him. I've played, a, and you're going to be like, what skills? You only have this account. But I've played a lot of drafts, bros. And throughout the drafts, I've played with a lot of different CDMs. And this Matic with his slow pace, I love him. I love his height. I love his interceptions. I love what he brings to the table. I absolutely love him a lot, man. He's a great player. Come to me a few weeks ago. I didn't, I played Matic maybe for two games in the beginning of the weekend, in the beginning of Ultimate Team, uh, because Kadira, Matic, all these players are not valuable when you have Vieira, when you have Mateus, you have all these guys, it makes, it makes you not use those other guys, and that kind of sucks, so that's the one thing I've always said icons have taken away from Ultimate Team, it's fun, it's amazing, but maybe limits would be great, now do I think the icons ruin the World Cup mode, I'm gonna say no, because if you're somebody right now that doesn't like using icons, don't use them. Because realistically, bro, if you lose in the World Cup mode, you lose. Start over. Who cares? You don't lose nothing. Play with the team that you want to play with that's going to make you have fun. For example, for me in this Road to Glory, I'm kind of just going through it. I'm having so much fun trying to get icons and build a sick team that I don't even care. In this episode, you're actually going to watch me come up pretty much against a full icon team. And when I saw that, I wasn't even scared of it. I was like, bro, if you beat me, you beat me. It's not like the weekend league, bros. It's not like we have 40 games and if you lose one of them, oh, there goes top 100. That's not how it works. If I get to the World Cup final and I lose, I don't care. I'm going to jump right back in, hopefully make 
make the World Cup again and hopefully win it this time. For me, it's more about the rewards and what I'm getting out of the rewards and the enjoyment of the mode. For me right now, I enjoy this gameplay more than I enjoy the regular foot gameplay. And a lot of people are saying, because I said on Twitter, a lot of people are saying, it's because you're smacking people. It's because you're beating people over and over and over and it's easy. It's actually the opposite. You guys know I don't like easy gameplay. Um, it's the opposite because, let's be real, we were winning on the regular foot either way. We got top 100 loads of times. So in 40 games of the weekend league, we were getting 38 wins and stuff, 36, 37, 38 wins. So we were still winning. It's not the aspect of, it's not the, the matter of winning. It's the funness that comes. Like, I'm finding myself trying to score scorpion kicks. I'm doing Rabonas. I'm doing skill moves. I'm doing, like, I get in front of goal. I try to do, like, the chip, the, 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 the scoop chip. I'm doing all kinds of nonsense in this mode because I don't really Really care about losing so it's 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 made me play the game funner now with that being said do I care about coming up against a bunch of icons I mean it sucks that you see so many icons but do I care like I said no because if I lose I move on and I get back into another one so do I think the icon thing has EA ruined it I think EA is trying to make their fan base happy and what I mean by that is that realistically if they put the all the legends or not the legends this game mode has uh, a longevity of probably a month because once the World Cup dies out or once the World Cup in real life stops, this mode stops. Nobody's really going to want to play the World Cup after the World Cup's over. So EA look at the situation, they go, well, in three, like, you know, three, three to three weeks a month, we got to find a way for them to have, you know, make it like worth it, like get the players quickly. So that's why you're seeing the pack weight so low. That's why you're seeing so many people with icons. They're letting people have fun. This is an arcade mode. That's the way I look at it. This add on is straight up an arcade mode. It was a way for EA to make the fans happy by giving them a new mode and then to cash a little bit more of a check that they wouldn't have got most summers so that's the way i see ea you know they're like okay we don't really care if we make a loads of money in this world cup mode it's just an add-on they're gonna make money on packs either way so they're kind of just like whatever happens happens so that's how i see this mode and i get that people are like well it's kind of they're ruining it it's just an add-on bro it's like i don't I, I think they just threw it in like hey let everybody have everything let people have fun and it's actually kind of an interesting conversation because a lot of people from the weekend league would tell me hey skills the reason i can't compete in the weekend league is because I can't get the good players. Now almost everyone can get the good players. If you don't believe me, you're watching my road to glory. Um, I, I haven't won the World Cup. I've won the World Cup, I believe, three times now. And I have the team I have. So realistically, you don't have to win it every single time to get a good team quickly. So what I'm trying to get at is this is for all the people that said they couldn't do good in the weekend league because their team, you finally have a mode where you can actually see, is it me? Is it the team? Is it the mode? Now you finally get to, you know, put your money where your mouth is. Be like, yo, I got a good team now. Let me go out there and show people that I actually can win a lot of games when I have the equal team. So I think it's pretty cool what they're doing here. Do I think they should have dropped the, you know, the icon so soon? No, I think they should have waited a bit. But I'm actually optimistic that when the games start in the World Cup, that they're going to start releasing cool cards. If they do start to release cool cards, people won't even care to use the icons. That's kind of what I'm hoping. I'm hoping the fans of this game, like you, me, the people that love this game, won't just be like, hey, let me feel the 11 icons and let me feel this team because it's the most strong. Hopefully people will be like, let me feel the funnest team. And honestly, bros, if you're comfortable with your team and that doesn't even have one icon on it, you're just really comfortable with your team, who cares what people have? If you feel good about your team and you feel like you can smack anyone at any given time, then you then do it like Nike, baby. Get out there and start smacking people. Start opening up a can of whoop ass on them. Start being Stone Cold Steve Austin and take them out, man. That's kind of how I see it. When I see an icon team, I'm like, okay, guess what? You're either going to beat me or I'm going to smack you really bad and I kind of just had fun with it man but in this game here this game was uh very difficult this was a tough one man we're just into the knockout stages pretty much and I'm gonna win the game by a mean cutback I had to go weekend league 40 and 0 top 100 gameplay right there bro run down the wing find the open one of the burner and just send that thing to him as hard as possible so nobody can cut it out and that's how we're gonna advance into the next round I am running a 4-3-1-2 and also if you see this Barcelona shirt I'm wearing your product skills you Barcelona fan no I am starting a Barcelona career mode on my second channel more a9 skills link down below and that is starting later today we're in the final against Puyol, Blanc, Ricosta, Ronaldinho, Thierry Henry, Mateus, Cristiano Ronaldo, De Gea, 
Donny Alves, and Jordi Alba. So even the players that he doesn't have icons in their position, they're the best in the slot pretty much. Big boy Jordi Alba with the crazy speed. I don't know if Donny Alves is the best right back you can have, but that's the right back I'm using right now, and he's pretty amazing. And he has Cristiano Big Boy Ronaldo. We score first, and remember, we've won the, we've won the World Cup a few times now. Uh, we take the lead early on, and then it just falls apart. It just completely, I, I crumble. And you're going to look at this and say, well, skills, you see, when, when you get out teamed, you have no chance. Even you're getting smacked. Look at this. You're down 3-1. I'm telling you, the icons are too overpowered. Uh, I went to halftime, right? I went to halftime down 4-1. Actually, I might score right before. I score right before halftime. I go down 4-2. And you know what I do? I'm in a 4-3-1-2. I say, okay, guess what, man? You got me. I'm going to go into a defensive formation. I went 4-2-3-1. And um, I just noticed he out-teamed me, and I started playing my game. I didn't look at the score. I said, look, I'm just going to try to get goals and see what happens. I make it 4-3 in the 46th minute right after halftime. A nice little kickoff goal right there. 70th minute, I get down with Jose Martinez, who's now in the game. I send it over to Maradona, who this is Maradona's last game. He's the lone Maradona. And Maradona's going to make that 4-4. But my opponent comes right back down the field with Thierry Henry. Finds the boy Messi off the bench. He got the Messiah on the bench. Messi comes in, makes it 5 Four. We're going to come right back down the 88th minute. Pretty much the last chance of the game in Maradona with the equalizer literally pretty much on the last kick of the ball, yo, because you know that was going to end bad. I was actually a three back at this point. When he scored the other goal, I went into a 3-4-2-1 or something like that. My man Matic finds the back of the net. I told y'all that's the go. I love Matic. He's the beast right now. I make it 6-5 in the 114th minute. Maradona sends the extra time and then that happened. And then here I'm just kind of keeping the ball when I finally find Jose Martinez off the bench by himself and ladies and gents from being down 4-1 in the 40th minute to winning 7-5 against the mega of mega teams bro De Gea in net you know the boy Mateus he had a fire team and this was all done for me to be able to complete a few icon repeatables right I knew I had to win the World Cup to gather a few more cards. You guys are going to see me turning a few cards here that you probably call me stupid. If you were next to me, maybe you would even smack me in my face. But if I wasn't going to use them, I didn't really care for them to be on my team. I'd rather turn them in and try to get myself a nice icon. Now, one thing I can promise you guys that even if I get every icon in this game to make this series fun, I'm not going to run the same team. Guys, this is the World Cup mode. I want to run players like this Falcao. I want to run players like Jose Martinez. I want to run players like Di Maria. Now, you are going to watch me turn in Falcao and Di Maria and these players because right now I'm just trying to get a few more icons one two three maybe but once I have a lot of icons I'm telling you guys right now once these icons will help us win the World Cup over and over for us to build a better team because honestly I don't even want to be running this David Luiz Thiago Silva defense I want a European defense a full European team uh, but with that being said I'm going to use icons to get myself into a position to be able to win more games I'm going to turn around here turning Gomez Falcao and Casemiro I did everything to try to get it like make sure I wasn't over paying so this was perfect here I wasn't overpaying would never use Casemiro like I said I'm building a European team so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this team in and honestly I was praying and hoping no Portuguese flag that's the biggest one right because we have Ricosta already we have Deco already so any Portuguese flag would mean it's a duplicate and it would be a massive L right you're doing the you're doing the L dance from uh from Fortnite and it's Portuguese and it's Deco. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Ricost on our first ever. We get Deco in the last episode. We get Deco in this episode. And I just wasn't having it, bro. I was not having it. I'm turning this Deco directly back in. I am not ending this episode without us getting a sick icon. Deco, Di Maria is going in. Fakir is going in this time. Again, a few players are going to leave. But these are players I won't really use. Like I said, we have our starting 11 already. And I'm pretty happy with it. Again, avoid the Portuguese flag. We have to avoid the Portuguese flag. Win. The Portuguese flag pops again. This time it's the GOAT Ricosta, who is actually my, well, like, literally, bro. Him and I said it. Him and my titch are my favorite cards right now. I have Ronaldo and stuff. And Warner the Burner, Ricosta has been dominating for me. I even put his stats on Twitter. I showed you guys in this episode. But again, I ain't leaving this damn episode until we pack something different. So I'm going to go ahead and turn in that Ricosta that I just packed. I'm also also gonna turn in uh this is when I, I think i turned my hector in here or maybe i already had turned my hector in and the reason i turned hector in is because i packed mendy from winning the world cup and i knew mendy was gonna start over hector that's why i turned him in i packed rojo i'm turning him in i packed henderson i'm turning him in 
I'm also turning in Harry Kane. I know a lot of people say, damn, skills, Harry Kane. Why would you do that? Like I said, I want to get a few icons like Ronaldinho or R9, not for the longevity of this series, but for them to help us get to that point where we have loads of cards. We need to constantly be winning the World Cup. We enter the World Cup, I think, five or six times now. We have three victories, and we have done this all road to glory, no money spent. With that being said, as long as it's not a Portuguese flag, it's a massive W. And finally, for the first time, we see German, and it's the one I wanted, bros. Besides Thierry Henry and 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 R9, Mateus is a beast. The, the guys I want, obviously, R9 and Thierry Henry, Blanc, and this Mateus. I kind of want one icon in every position, like in every level, right? So defensively, Blanc, midfield, Mateus. And then up top, Thierry Henry or R9. I never thought Ricosta was going to be what Ricosta is. Deco, I don't really care for. He can go to the bench and stuff like that. He's going to start for now because we need him. But I don't really care for him. Ricosta, I never thought would actually impress me the way he has. Maybe I should have used him in the regular foot a lot more. But this card was supposed to be my midfield guy. Of this, like When I look at the, the big grand scheme of things, I wanted him to be my midfield guy. I wanted Blanc to be in the back. And I wanted uh, R9 or Thierry Henry. More like Thierry Henry. I have a connection with Thierry Henry, man. I really, really, I love Dark Knight. I love Thierry Henry, both on the same. But it's just something about Thierry Henry in this game that I really, really, really enjoy using him. Mateus fits right into that midfield with the big boy, uh, um, uh, Matic. And I told you I'm going to, I had these as duplicates. So I got to go back and pick up Deco and I got to go back and pick up Rick Osta. And as you guys are going to see, our team is starting to look pretty damn solid, man. For our RTG, it's pretty damn good, man. We're kind of in an absolute amazing place. I'm going to send a few of those guys duplicates back to the team, which I already did. Um, but as you can see, I'm going to throw Rikos that cam. And then I'm going to bench the Polish guy who's absolutely been a beast for me. I'm not going to turn him into an SBC because I really enjoy that Polish guy. I can't say his name, but he's absolutely a monster. If you guys have him, make sure to use him. Um, but I'm going to put him on the bench or whatever. And our team is looking pretty nasty. David Luiz, Thiago Silva, Mendy, Dani Alves. In net, we got uh, the Brazilian keeper. Hopefully, we can upgrade him to a Neuer or something eventually. Uh, De Gea, eventually. When we have an, a European center back just won't pop for me, man. Um, up top, one of the Borno Ricosta and, Ar and Cristiano Ronaldo. As you guys can see, man, for not using one penny, we have put together a sick team. And if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure to hit a big old thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. I will do my best to not jump to a mega team first of all i gotta get them and that's gonna take slowly but like i said i'm not just gonna use the full icon team i'm just gonna use icons to help us get the other cards and then roll from there if you guys are enjoying a big thumbs up make sure to subscribe thank y'all so much for watching and let me know in the comments down below who you think is gonna win the world cup can i say portugal or no i can't say that right they won the euro so i can no i, I feel it they ain't winning nothing hey thanks for watching booyah yo what's going on youtube it's your boy double a nine skills and welcome back to the road for champions rtg edition i got blessed man i got back from my vacation today i didn't even tell you guys i went on a little vacation and i get back to my vacation to, to find out that they got some sexy sbcs waiting for your boy on the rtg there's supposedly a, a repeatable icon sbc now in the world cup mode i mean that's just beautiful now, I am on an RTG, so who knows if we're going to be able to complete it, baby. But welcome back, man, to the Road to World Cup. If you haven't smashed the thumbs up already, could you do it for your boy? Could you make sure to subscribe? And oh, yeah, your boy's no longer sick. I was on vacation and I was sick, but I'm back and I'm healthier than ever. Thank goodness for that. With that being said, if you missed the last episode, what you doing, baby? You